Hello and welcome back to Catch and Cook California. I'm Kevin and it is springtime baby. Everything is in bloom. It is beautiful, the sights, the smells, and one of my favorite things about springtime is April 1st because April 1st marks day number one on the central coast of the boat-based angling season, which means we are finally legally allowed to go back out on boats and target salmon, rockfish, etc. Last season we did extremely well. My dad and I were catching salmon, halibut, rockfish, etc. Really exceptional times. But today is extra special because my dad and I will be taking Diane out for her very first time fishing on the boat. Turns out we forgot the bait. We have two options here as far as I can tell. Option number one is we go crying home to mama. <laughs> option number two, we go try to catch some bait. It didn't take long for us to see pelicans working and that distinct textural difference on the surface that was indicative of bait fish. With the only sabiki on the boat, we cast in and did our best to bring in some smelt. Oh yeah, they're definitely hitting it. There you go. <laughs> nice. Yes, bring it in the boat, baby. <laughs> I was like, well, might as well keep fishing. <laughs> Nice fish, Diane. <laughs> that is a beast. Yeah, baby. Well, maybe it's not that big because it's not fighting me very hard. Nice. It's a little gopher. <laughs> nice. Second fish on the boat. Dad and me, skunk. <laughs> Nice. Yay. I don't think it's salmon. It's not acting like salmon. No. Rockfish. Yeah, nice. Decent size. That's a beautiful rockfish, man. Diane caught the biggest fish. We did it all on bait that Diane and Hunter caught. It was a good day. Now we're gonna go cook something delicious. Diane's rockfish that doesn't fit in the Ziploc gallon bag. <laughs>
catch and cook. Super simple. We go for the fish first, I guess. Flaking perfectly. Mm. Okay. Not bad, right? It's really good, actually. That was totally winging it, too. Very firm, real nice, flaky, mm -hmm. good rockfish. Yeah. I actually used to um, grow and harvest these when I was working at a organic farm in Humboldt. Not that kind of farm. Delicata squash. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Yeah, super delicate, creamy. It's kind of like if a squash and a sweet potato had a baby. It's good squash. Yeah, very creamy. Mm -hmm. All right, salad time. Super simple dressing. Just some, uh, I think it was a jalapeno infused white balsamic mm -hmm. and olive oil. Like it? Yeah, it's good. I think it needs a little more of the balsamic though. Give it just a dash more. Okay, me too. Yeah. Both of them came from Solvane, I think. From my Solvane. sister. From your sister, that's right. Thanks, Jen. It's so good, honey. Yeah. And our battery's about to die, so thank you very much for watching. Um, please give us a like, thumbs up, leave a comment. We always love hearing from you. And until next time, keep the old ways alive. All right, no outtakes today. Uh, instead, I wanna do a giveaway. Um, a while back, I did a giveaway where some of you could come join me to go forage. And uh, I got a really positive response and it's been super fun doing that. So I'm gonna do it again. So I started my own foraging business. It's called Live Wild Foraging Survival Skills and Outdoor Adventures. I've been taking people uh, for mushroom identification, teaching people how to catch eels and rock crab and throw snares for Dungeness crab, and it's just been a, a great time. So I wanna offer that opportunity for free to one of you and one of your friends or family members, significant other, etc. In order to be eligible, you have to be a subscriber. You gotta give me a like, and then leave a comment letting me know why you want to come. I'm going to pick my favorite comment, and that might be something heartfelt, or it might just be hilarious. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's up to you. Be creative. And I will um, close the drawing about three hours before I drop my next video, which I think should be about a week, maybe a week and a half. All right. Good luck.